everyone, I'm Vail from Mike and Vail's Life, and today I just want to share with you my Mickey and Minnie tree that I have in the front office of where I work. I love this tree. It's nine foot tall, it's flocked, and it's seven years old, and I've, I've put it up for seven years. Now the flocking, uh, it's like all flocking, it's starting to you know, each year a little bit falls off, but it's still really, really pretty. And I just want to show you all what I have used because this tree is so big that I just want to show you the different items that I used so I could really fill this tree up. I love a tree that is just dripping and stuff. Now, when I say seven years, I can actually prove that because on the bottom of Mickey's foot, is the year 2014. I bought that at a Sears store, I, I think. Of course, my memory's bad, that's been seven years, but I think there's where I purchased it. And I, and I use, don't get me wrong, I use a lot of traditional ornaments, but, like you can, but then the other thing, that, right, you can see right in the middle, the little round Mickey, that came from a Hallmark store that was going out of business, and that's actually a Beanie Baby. Uh, it's called Beanie Baby Rounds. I can't remember what they called them. But all I did was put them in, and you know, like I did all the plushes, because I do have a lot of plushes. I have different sizes. As you can see, try to get some of the different looking ones. Now these, I think they were called Itsy Bitsies. These were not ornaments either. This was still at that Hallmark store that went out of business. And they had them for like a quarter maybe, 35 cents. I'm not real sure, because uh, it's been several years ago. But what I did is I purchased those and I got some crochet thread. And as you can see back here, I just pushed the, got a needle, pushed it through, and then made a hanger. So I have these hanging all over. I thought that really turned out good. And here's that uh, Thomas Kincaid that I, uh, ornament that I got out of uh, one of my boxes and I can't remember if it was, which one it was, I'm sorry. Um, but here, these, I thought these were darling. I didn't pay much for these either. This came from a local hardware store in town a few years back. And they're just little uh, green and red beads, but they have bows all over them. Now, as you know, Minnie is all about the bows. And here's one of the, another one of those like I said, there's little itsy bitsies that I just added the crochet thread to, to make a hanger. And I'm sorry, you may be able to hear the traffic because we are in the very front room and there's where all the traffic, you can hear the traffic a little more. Oh, this I absolutely love. This is a popcorn bucket from Walt Disney World. Got that from one of our trips. And I thought, what a better place to put it than in the tree. And yes, another popcorn bucket.
Now this, I really, I'm proud of this as well. I found these, I didn't find these until after Christmas one year at Dollar General. And they were just Santa Claus hat ornaments. You can see they already had the little hanger on them. And they were only 10 cents, but they were just a dollar to begin with. And if I had went there before Christmas and found them, I would have bought as many as I possibly could, even at a dollar. Because what I did, I came home, I took the, I, I got this and, and ripped the seam and added black felt ears to make it a Mickey Mouse ornament. And when I say I use everything, this is just one of those door hangers that you can get at Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree. Got that? Hung it on there. And it's just so many things. And it's really hard to, to show you. But I'm trying. Let's see. And this... I'm not sure. I can't remember where I, I've had that for several years as well. And once again, I think it was at Sears. There's Walt and Mickey. Mickey and Pluto. Here is I can get it. Donald, Mickey, and, and Goofy. This is just a, a child's uh, headband that I got that from uh, Dollar Tree a few years back as well. Oh, and I was real proud of this. My uh, boss is a pilot. He, 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 I think he flew air shows for like nine years. And I didn't have this. And I noticed at the bottom it says 2000. But what uh, I went to Goodwill one day and oh my goodness, I found that. And I thought that was perfect for our tree. He, he loves that. And another thing, this I think is a, something else that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, it, was, it had everything but the little Mickey on it. I just bought it, stuck a little Mickey sticker on it, and let it become a Mickey Mouse ornament. And I know you're thinking, my goodness, she's put everything but the kitchen sink in on this tree. But no, I did put the kitchen sink on this tree. This is an ice cream container that you buy uh, at Walt Disney World. And it's called the uh, uh, Mickey's Kitchen Sink. And it comes with a pile of ice cream. It takes two people. Me and Mike had a hard time getting all this ice cream down. But it was delicious. And like the, this and the popcorn buckets and stuff like that, not only does it give me a place I can share them once a year, but it also just brings back great memories. And back to Dollar Tree, I'm, I'm big on Dollar Tree stuff here. That is another one of those uh, Mickey ears uh, headbands that I just added that to it as well. And also, this came from a birthday card one year. So I just took it out and 
and added that also. Now I just want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and letting me share this with you. I hope you did enjoy just seeing different items that can be put on a tree. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. I hope everybody has a great day, a wonderful week, and a magical Christmas. Bye-bye! And may God bless.